Digital health and healthcare informatics are fascinating fields that have benefited tremendously from advances in the world of software technologies. These fields have enabled us to not only increase the quality of healthcare, but to also reduce the cost of healthcare de delivery. As an example, these fields have enabled the sharing of healthcare information much more efficiently. By smartly using technology at the point of care, these fields enable us to reduce the risk of medical error. In the same way, when we look at the huge quantities of healthcare data that are being collected today from so many different sources, this data combined with the power of machine learning and data science enables really, really innovative applications in healthcare. So, health is and forever will remain a national and global problem. So we have to note that there are two revolutions going on. Mobile, personalized, precision medicine and machine intelligence and AI. So the topic of health informatics is a convergence of the two. So I will clarify the importance in terms of academics. <clears throat> to develop advanced data analytics, data sciences, machine intelligence, and AI techniques. There are many health problems, city, rural, poverty, many health and diseases, including COVID-19, and making healthcare affordable and improving its distribution. HIT professionals will have a variety of interesting career options to choose from. Globally, several developed economies have significant parts of their GDP which is spent on healthcare. And these spends are increasing at rates which are faster than the rates of the accompanying GDP growth. As a result, the entire healthcare ecosystem is a really thriving ecosystem with various kinds of players of various different sizes all trying to solve different problems to make healthcare more efficient and to make it more cost effective. Technology is central to practically all of these providers. In the world of technology, you have very large multi-billion dollar behemoths, which are making very significant investments to improve the quality of the software and to enhance the functionality of the software, which powers many interesting use cases in healthcare. At the other end of the spectrum, you have so many startups which are implementing really innovative solutions to make healthcare uh, more effective and to solve many unique problems in the world of healthcare. If one shifts to the area of academia and research, there is again a tremendous amount of work which is being done in the area of digital health and in the area of healthcare informatics. For example, if again one looks at leveraging healthcare data to manage healthcare events better, to anticipate adverse healthcare events even before they actually happen. These are just some of the examples of the many interesting things which are being done in the world of academia and in the world of research. So I will only answer this question as an academic for research and education-minded faculty and students. Others can speak about industry and entrepreneurship. So academics, IITB in particular should educate thinkers, creative scientists, productive engineers and educators. And this applies to PhD and junior faculty. And IITB should also foster <clears throat> an environment for entrepreneurship by students, especially undergraduates and master's students. IITB should place its top students and postdocs internationally and produce top talent to populate our universities across the country. If our PhD students are superb, do quality postdoc, and our faculty publish internationally recognized work, they will make an impact. They will make a difference. I think IIT Bombay is perfectly placed to provide really interesting courses in the areas of digital health and healthcare technology to its student population. 
Besides being known for academic excellence, IIT Bombay is also known for innovation when it comes to launching new streams of education and courses. The city of Mumbai itself is a terrific hub of healthcare, with many of India's best known institutes in the public sector and in the private sector located in Mumbai. All of these factors taken together will enable IIT Bombay to be a pioneer in the area of HIT education in India and set an example which many other universities can also follow. Okay, so to in conclusion, to summarize, IIT Bombay should, number one, focus on academic faculty research excellence. Number two, give leading research problems in computational science, theory and practice to PhD students and train them internationally and bring them back to promote this ethos of excellence and their pedigree. Number three, we should train students to tackle major problems via innovation and entrepreneurship in a word translation. Number four, build top tier medical school partnership for medical part of this endeavor. And number five, create incubator space for innovation and dissemination of entrepreneurial ideas. IIT Bombay should focus on its strength does what it does best, theory, fundamental work, computing, etc. as the first goal, and partner with healthcare systems and entrepreneur for dissemination as the secondary goal.